Hi, it's Karen from Port Prev again, here to give you some more tips on how to make a great art portfolio. I'm here at Necessary Arts, where the classroom is for Port Prep. We have workshops going on all Christmas season to help you learn how to draw well. I just love this studio because there's so many excellent artists all through here. It's a really inspiring space, and I find it really interesting for the students who come here to take workshops with us because they can see some really great work being made. It's really just a positive energy to work in. I have lots of different artists from you know amateur to professionals working here. So I really want you to come out and take some workshops with us or get some tutorial video. I want to tell you some of the areas that students tend to be a little bit weak in. So look at your work honestly and see if you think you're weak in that area. I find most students are fairly creative, just need a little bit of help how to develop your ideas. We've been talking about that already. The DIY creative thought process video can be really helpful or finding a mentor or friend to work with. Getting all your stuff done and out of the way helps free up creative thought. Having a, a study plan and feeling organized helps open up your creative abilities too because you, then you're not wasting energy on worrying. You could hire us to make a plan for you and then you just have to you know, put your head down and start working on but it. But what I want you to know is where do you need to improve your work? Most students tend to be weak in two main areas. One area is that their object drawing and understanding of how to draw geometrical forms tends to be weak. No matter how great and talented you are, most students still have this because we're all human. We have a lot of stored knowledge in the left hemisphere of our brain, the sort of language logical part where we have a lot of stored symbols and information. That information gets in the way of being able to see what's really in front of us. Even when a student can draw something organic really well, when it comes to structured objects that we know a lot about, they tend to not have trouble drawing those well. You know, you might be really great, but in some your drawings are going to look really weak. It could be the one thing that kind of pulls you down and you don't get accepted. So it's important to be able to really have mastery over the visual world and be able to see what's really there and what you think is there. Once a student becomes aware of where they're going to want to change what they see to sort of match what they know, it's amazing how quickly you can draw well. With just a few lessons or a couple of videos and become aware of where those problem areas are, you can pull up your drawing to ability really high, really fast. I did make a study guide to teach you how to draw. Let's say you want to get into illustration to draw really well. A lot of the students are better with the organic forms and not as good with the structured forms. But it's important to be able to do that. It's a part of the portfolio requirement. Be able to draw objects, vehicles, things like that, structured things very well. If you want to get into architecture or interior design or graphics, you need to be able to do package design or draw a chair or a stairway or a room. Those things are important too, to be able to draw a structure. You look at my arm, right? it's bent right now. We know that this half of my arm and this half of my arm should be about equal. But if I bend my arm out like this, you can see they're equal. But if I turn my arm towards you, this part of the arm looks shorter than this part. We'll wanna try to make this part of the arm um, longer because we're not supposed to be the same. Same things happens with the face. We're used to eyes like having corners here. If I turn my face, the eye that's turned away, I can't see the corner anymore. It's in fact rounded. Same with the mouth. I've got corners on my mouth, right? Little points and we know that. If I turn away, this starts to get rounded and I can't see the corner. We tend to want to draw what we know is there when we can't see it. We gotta become aware of those things. It's important to learn how to draw well, like how to how to do this thing, sight measuring, that you see artists doing. How do you do that and how do you do it properly that you'll be able to succeed once you're in college? So there's lots of videos that teach that where you can come to a workshop and learn how to draw really well, really quickly. When students are stressed out and working on the portfolio, that's what they want. How do I draw well, but in a short period of time, that's what I do, and I can help you get into your dream college. Everybody that's hired me, or Garth, to get into their dream school has. And I want that for you too. I love making people's creative dreams come true, just like it did for me. So I'm rooting for you. Give me a call uh, at info at portprep.com and uh, I'm looking forward to talking with you. Good luck. Why do you really want this career? You know, just pull on that passion and that's gonna make you wanna do it. When you start getting into some ideas, that's gonna drive you too.